Don't click out of it yet. I know y'all like to click out of the intros. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, we're getting there. This is our day today. We are gonna fish in the Two Harbors Harbor for coho salmon. Look at that tugboat. Look at these iron ore docks. I am super excited. Super excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And we got a tip from a friend of a friend. Nathan is joining us this morning and his friend kind of tipped us off on coho's being caught kind of around the end of the iron ore dock there. This morning, we're, our plan is to just, with the underwater camera, drill around this dock just to see if anything's feeding shallow first. And then we'll eventually make our way out there, I'm sure. But it's the very tail end of ice on Lake Superior and probably the only spot left that's safe in our area to go. It's coho salmon fishing on Lake Superior. It's the Ordinary Fisherman and it starts right now. I think, yes, I think if there's minnows, they would be in the dock trying to kind of hide away. And whatever fish we might see would be kind of skirting around the edges of the dock. Am I missing something here? Button. You don't know how to use the... Back off. <laughs> Back oh off, he says. The right button press down and then your right trigger finger. Press down, right trigger. There you go. There you go, it works, it works. We're gonna we're gonna use the old uh, camera to uh, look down at the edge of this dock first. So here's the dock with the tugboat, and you can see the the pilings there at the end of the dock. That's pretty cool. Exploring the bottom of Lake Superior. No fish though. We got some bugs that we can see. So we just might end up out at the end of the ore dock. I don't know. That's where we we're told they're catching them anyway. Cool beans. Man, this is gonna be awesome. Already got a couple of uh, diehard fishermen over there by the pier. There's another one around the corner. Let's see what we can see. <laughs> All right. The coffee in between the ore docks. As the day as the day warms up a little bit, maybe we'll end up out of the ice house. Oh yeah, fishing on Lake Superior, baby. All right, we decided to take the morning and spend it at the end of the two docks. I might just do an overlay and a quick show of where we are. And we'll just give it a couple hours and see what happens. Got the camera down there. There's an anchor right below us. That's really cool. On the what do we got? Tell me Ooh. it's a coho. Did I lose it? Oh! Oh! No! What happened? Oh my gosh. Definitely had a fish. I did have a fish. Yep. Definitely had a fish. We just set up here in this new spot. We came around the corner of the ore dock. We were in between the two. Now we're stationed on one corner of one of them. And that was right away. And that was on a spoon, wasn't it? With the waxy. Spoon with the waxy. Going with the waxy. You recording? Yeah. You hear the noontime bells? Mm. Huh. It's the noontime check in. Because we don't have much action this morning to have on camera. Saw plenty of fish in the first spot on our underwater cam, but couldn't close the deal on them. They seem fairly disinterested. It's cool to see them though. And in this spot, we've only been here 30 or so minutes and we've had one fish on and a, a, a bite. And now we're eating lunch. Well, the noontime bells are rung and done. And now it's time to eat. Soup down. Ooh, that's hot. Soup. I'll tell is you that, what. Is that ramen or is it ramen? Yep. 
This is one of the best things to have when you're out on the ice and it's cold. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's a spot. Where'd he go? He went behind us. Why did he do that? He's like, went right behind my... Got him? Did you miss him? Was it a bite? Yes, it was bouncing. Oh, he's back. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, there's a handful of them. These are salmon, definitely. Here we go, finally. Boom, baby. I get it. Oh, I think he's getting wrapped around here. Mine, maybe? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, look at that, Coho. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. I got one. Yeah, and that's. I'm measure it, but that's definitely over 10, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. 10 inches is the right. size limit. That's 10 inches. That's got to be 10. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. In a way. I didn't way. quite get all that on video because he snuck up on us. I didn't even know. That took us all day. <laughs> it's 1230 and we've been here since 730. That's right. Good grief. Um, can I grab a mouth? Don't you? You're, teeth you're the fishing, I've never caught a coho before. You're the before. fishing guide. Yeah, but I've never caught one before. So you got to show everybody what you're using. No, that's the secret. <laughs> We'll just say it's a spoon that was tipped with waxies, right? All right. That's right. They, they can see it. <laughs> you might as well show them. They can see it. <laughs> oh, my secret weapon. Yeah, polka dotted chartreuse. Yep. We're close cool today. Who beans? All right. Well, I won't rip on you any more, Nathaniel, for our spot. Mm. Well, at least everyone in this spot has come in pretty interested. So we'll take it. Which means we probably won't move. You got a mark? Yeah, I got a mark for sure. I don't see him on the camera yet. Come on. They're definitely there. It's it's off to the side somewhere to be as weak a mark as it is, but it's definitely there. Where's the is the question. Come on, baby. Got him? You stinker. Oh. <laughs> Did he come off? There's two of them here. And the other one's three of them. It's coming back. He nipped at me and that was it. Come on. Now he's going for you. Jeez. Oh, come on. I should have waited a little bit, huh? I don't know. I mean, it, you had him hooked, right? He was yeah. on for a second. Yep. I don't think he did anything wrong. He he went for mine, but he barely nipped it. Enough to know it was metal. Well, I mean, that just tells you they're in here feeding. So again, I guess we're just waiting 20, 30 minutes every time they come through. But when they come through, we got a shot. It's obvious they like your presentation more than mine. Painfully obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the polka dots have something to do with, more to do with it than the actual color. You know what I mean? Well, want to try that one? Sure. I'll um, try a pink polka dot. As long as it's polka dot. Okay. I'll roll the blue one. I'll have to remember these for next time. Decided to come out and hole hop. This awesome backdrop. Got a little bit of time. Nathan's been hogging all the fish in there. I haven't had a chance at them yet.
thought I had a mark over there, but I think it was another anchor or something off the bottom. Still pretty cool though. Well, I think we're in a good spot because we're on this side of this track here. <laughs> so if it breaks away, it will just be 10 feet. 10 feet okay. <laughs> Never mind these cracks right here. 12 inches of ice. Right. <laughs> and there's another football field away of ice before it gets to us. So. that was there this morning must have just maybe blown in there and was sitting there and the wind that we have today blew it away it's a good football field away yet though so I guess that means we're gonna stick it out we've got a couple hours left of our own time before we have to go and hoping that we can get a couple more on the ice in this spot that we've got here so you can kind of see how we're situated about 20, 30 yards from the iron ore dock. Um, they're not coming through a lot, but about every 20 minutes there's three or four that come through and one or two are biting every time. So maybe that interval gets smaller as the afternoon wears on and we get more action. Hoping. Hoping. I hole hopped a little bit just to, um, well, get my legs moving, but I was hoping to actually catch one with this backdrop because it is so cool. I can't wait to fish this again next year. I'm gonna be a little more intentional about it and try to catch it with really, really good ice and the right lures. <laughs> so. There you go. Come on. Oh, he came and looked at me and that was it. Look, look, look down there, yeah. Did you get him? I got him. <laughs> you got him. Stug on you. <laughs> he wasn't looking at me. Oh no, did, did it come him? off? Oh. oh. Dug got it. Always oh, coming for me. Maybe. Oh, he got my Maybe not. Are you just putting one on one of them on? Yeah. Okay. Do we normally put more than one? I mean, I put like two or three waxies on my spoons typically. Oh. But those are small spoons, you know. Looks like I can't get down there fast enough. Great. You just gotta quit missing the fish. That is true. Really, ultimately, you need to quit missing the fish. Because I haven't really had a legitimate, <laughs> legitimate hook set. You have. You had a bobber down that one time. I wonder what that was. Yeah, but there's no fish on it to hook set. And I had a fish kind of bump my lure, but it, he didn't put it in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, at least coming up through the. Oh, I'm on the board. Oh. Yeah. Get oh. <laughs> away. Nice job. Oh, he wasn't coming up. Whoa. Whoa, what? Boy, these guys are not only just slippery, but they're <laughs> slimy. <laughs> they slimy. You got it. Yeah, he, he didn't have, he didn't give us a chance to turn on the cameras. Okay, okay, okay. This is the sister to this other one that's caught. They look almost exactly the same. It just came out of nowhere. My first Lake Superior Coho. You ready? <laughs> Super excited about a 14 inch fish. <laughs> yeah, well, first is a first. So there. Yeah, he didn't second guess. He came right in. Came right in. He's going to go home with me. <laughs> it's like I'm a rookie. It's like I've never done this before. I kind of have it. Oh yeah, he wasn't coming off. His mouth is... All three of those hooks are in his mouth. Really? Yep. That's a good hit. Good. It's a good hook set. Alright. Actually, we're going to take some pictures. <laughs> 
that's a wrap on an awesome day. We only ended up getting two on the ice, but we agreed we saw maybe 30 on the camera down there. Lots of action. Nathan missed five at least. That hey. worked. Yeah, so he's gonna defend himself. It was five, but it was a lot of fun. And you can see behind us, we had awesome scenery all day, even though we were mostly in the ice house. We got out a couple times and enjoyed it. If you ever get a chance next year, right? It won't happen this year. We are very late ice, mid uh, March of 2022. Probably the last ice you'll see inside this bay. So next year, maybe make a plan to come up here and catch some coho salmon. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Nathaniel, just your ordinary fisherman. Behind the camera is Nathan, who joined me all day today. We had some fun. Be sure to take a kid out with you the next time you go out. God bless everybody and tight lines. It's coming back. He nipped at me and that was it. Come on. Now he's going for you. Nathan, he's been fishing for 30 minutes already. He's got nothing to show for it as I've been setting up. I'm a loser. You are. I'm a loser, baby. No fish will fight me. Okay. Isn't it called Agate Harbor? Oh my gosh. Now I just gave it away. Agate Bay. That's what it is. <laughs> Where am I at and what I just said? I feel like I have to do that again. <laughs> So thanks for joining us today. I'm Nathaniel, just the ordinary fisherman. <laughs> Be sure to take a friend out with a friend. You're already a friend, a kid. This is the kind of stuff that I do. I was just kind of seeing how things are going right now. Um, it seems to have picked up a little bit. Um, and just, I kind of want to make sure I'm kind of in line with what the plans are today.